What's up, ladies and gentlemen? It's Brennan and I'm Bman X45, and today we're coming at you with another video. We have our last deck profile for the BT7 format. Uh, this is my black deck. It's going to be the uh, Dora Goromon Black. Uh, I went from Royal Knights last format because I really like Alphamon, and uh, I can still get to play Alphamon in this deck, uh, which is really great. And I uh, was really interested in the deck. I uh, haven't got to play it a lot, but I think it's really cool. And I can't wait to see it evolve in BT8 with the addition of more X antibody cards. So without further ado, let's get into the deck profile. Uh, start off with, we have our Dorimon. Four of him. He's our main baby there. Uh, once per turn, uh, when this when a, one of your card effects places a Digivolution card... Under this Digimon, draw one. So again, your draw engine. And then I got a Pogumon for, you know, reveal top card of your deck. If it's black, add it to your hand. If not, put it on the bottom. You're mostly having black uh, cards. And it doesn't have to be a black digit Or no, sorry. It is a black Digimon card. So it can, it can you know, if you draw into a Tamer or an option, it can can be bad. But, eh. Uh, you got your Dorimon. I got, I got one of the... This guy's so expensive. Um, I'm assuming because of all of the other... Uh, X antibody support we'll be getting in the future because I honestly he's just a searcher and I kind of hate it when like the searchers are stupidly expensive for the alts but eh. on play reveal the top three cards of your deck add one card with X antibody uh, in its traits or uh, and one Kodo Demota uh, among them from to your hand place the remaining cards at the bottom of your deck in any order so he gets you two he's a two for one uh, as long as you draw into them uh, he's only a reveal three I feel like really good searchers are a reveal four uh, especially most of them having being able to draw you two cards i think reveal threes are a little bit more iffy uh, especially with you know having a limited amount of x antibody targets uh, in this format since it's our first x antibody stuff so it's uh, uh, it's a really nice card but it also it also has a inheritable which is actually probably why it's really good so when one of your effects places a digivolution card on this card gain one memory so you got the draw you got the memory gain so that's probably why because he, he's a multi-effect and i can understand why he's uh, expensive then still not not the price that he's actually being sold for so <laughs> so i got four of him staple yeah you gotta have it um i have four this is the first time i've played just four sunrise amons um you know you you got abilities that get you up to that 13,000 DP. Um, so you gain piercing if you have one of them on the board. Oh, sorry, guys. A really long night and just worked an eight, uh, eight and a half hour shift. I'm just really tired, but uh, sorry about that. Um, so you get your piercing uh, for the 13,000 DP. And if you have one of them on board, but you also like having... Uh, him underneath because you get that security attack plus one if you have you know 30,000 more dp so it's he's good on both so I, I i find like there's not a lot of good level three targets in this deck so four of him uh really makes up because you want to see it you want to get it under there um whereas you want to get this guy on the field so this guy can be under your dorimon because uh, a lot of time he's not going to be he's going to be you know his own inheritable, but not having the Dorymon underneath. Uh, you got your two Chumon, memory gain blocker, simple. That's your 10 level threes. Level fours, you have the another new guy, Dorogoromon, sorry, Darugamon, my bad, Dorogoromon's the mega. Um, and he, uh, well, you have another Digimon in play with X antibody its traits uh, or a card with X antibody its traits and this Digimon's devolution cards. This becomes your blocker, 5k blocker, um, two to evolve and uh, no cost to attack. So no cost to attack, he just gains blocker. So that's really great. Um, while this Digimon has X antibody its traits, it gains, uh, you know, plus a thousand. So Again, you're going to get that all the time, so it's going to help you get up to that 13,000 that we want for those uh, bonus ability effects that we have. Four of him. Um, three Grumblemon. Um, that's just because uh, we, you know, it's hybrid format. You want to be able to get, if you don't run into your level threes, you want to be able to get off maybe one of your hybrids and start your plays. So three Grumblemons, pretty good. 
Uh, we've got two, three, three Tyranimon. So level five black blocker, 5,000, one to evolve. So cheap. Uh, yeah, again, pretty good. And that is 10 level fours. And then for your level fives, we have four Dora Greymon. This guy's your main guy. When digivolving, you may place a black card with XX anybody its traits from your hand at the bottom of the Digimon's Digivolution cards uh, to prevent effects from deleting or reducing uh, its DP until the end of your opponent's next turn. So that's really cool. Um, and then he has a really sick inheritable. Uh, when this Digimon has X antibody and its traits, gains security attack plus one. So another security attack plus. So potentially you could have security attack plus two with uh, uh, on your level six with the uh, the Sun Reasonmon underneath. So again, you get that all that security attacking and you gain those uh, abilities to place cards underneath your stack, which is actually really cool. And then the other one we run is three Metal Greymon with Reboot in its title and uh reboot and it's inheritable or sorry while this digimon has reboot it gains security attack plus one so that is not as as live because i don't uh, actually know because i have vi final zubagon punch so if he's on there and you play final zubagon punch his security attack becomes live so basically does the same thing as Dora Greymon. seven of those Your boss monster, and I got one of his alt too, so that was from pulling boxes, so that was actually pretty cool. cool. Um, for each card with X antibody and its traits in the Stitch Monster Evolution cards, it gains uh, plus 1,000 DP. So e with you know with two guys like Dorimon or Dorimon uh, or, or Darugamon or the level 5 guy, you can easily get up to 13,000 DP, which is really cool. Uh, when attacking, you may place one card with X antibody and its traits from your hand at the bottom of the Digimon's Digivolution cards to delete up to two of your opponent's Digimon with play costs less than or equal to the to the number of Digivolution cards you have under this card. So that's pretty strong. Uh, he's only three to evolve, so that's really cool. Um, you can make him really beefy, so that's really, really, really nice. Uh, and then you have three Alphamon, because this is like a Doramon deck, so Alphamon is the alternate Digivolution, your Royal Knight. Uh, again, uh he can get up to 1300 dp really easily too um and then you have his whole ability to attack uh spend and then regain that memory afterwards so you can make sure sure he's not uh he can't be defeated which is really great um so really awesome being able to play alphamon and dorgoramon that's it for your level sixes seven of them um, I'm running two Zwart Defeat, two Chaos Mon, because uh, you can go into both lines. Uh, they're both really good. Uh, of course, you know, Omnimon's Zwart off of security is really great, and he's really cheap to go into as a level seven, uh, whereas Chaos Mon's got that end of turn piercing ability where he can attack and pierce and get through security, uh, which is really great, and, and attack an unsuspended Digimon too, so that's really great. So you can help finish games. That's it for the Digimon. That's it for the level sevens. Um, and we have our Coda Demoto. He is our memory tamer. And when you when he's played, you can reel the top cards of your deck and add a card with X antibody and straights among them to your hand and place the remaining cards on the bottom of your deck. So he's actually a better he's a better searcher, I feel. Well no. Dor Doramon's really good, but he's got more potential to get uh because you get to reveal more cards. Well, one more. So this is pretty good. Um probably really good for this deck. Not necessarily a really good black memory tamer, but we don't really have like really good black memory tamers. I mean Izzy's alright. It's the only tamer we have in the deck. The rest are option cards. So we got our big bad final zubagon punch um during the main you pay two memory and one of your digimon gains 3000 dp until the end of your opponent's next turn then if that digimon has 16 or more that digimon games blocker when your opponent attack 
uh, sorry, it's blocker, reboot, and security attack plus one. So with the Doramon, all the different Doramon abilities, you can have security attack plus three uh, with reboot and blocker. Those are the end of your opponent's next turn. Uh, it's huge. It's just nuts. Uh, and it's only two costs, which is just great. So Final Zubagon Punch is awesome. I've actually been really wanting to play it in a deck, and I just never could find the room and the other black decks I was playing. So this is kind of fun being able to play that. And then you have your black memory boost because you need memory for this, anything to go off. And the deck doesn't have a super huge memory gain. I mean, you got the Doramon, but it's limited and you have to go into, like you have to kind of commit to your Doramon line when he's most likely not going to have a Dorimon under him, which is... Not terrible, but it's better, you know, to, you know, you know especially with Doro Goromon, it's better to have more cards underneath, so to kind of keep building the stack. Uh, especially with the awesome abilities like uh, Sun Rizamon's Piercing and Security Attack Plus One that you can uh, put in there in the stack, so. But yeah, so Memory Boost helps you gain, helps you search, and helps you gain a little bit more memory. Uh, and that's it for the deck, I mean, that's... That's all she wrote. So yeah, this is uh, my Doro Goromon deck. Uh, I'm enjoying playing it. Uh, I really like Black, and I'm actually really excited for BTA because of uh, Black War Gra Graymon. Black, yeah, Black War Graymon. I think it's gonna be really fun, and I can't wait to try it out. But for right now, I'm really interested in Doro Goromon, and I will want to play it more and see if I can get better at X Anybody. So tell me what you guys think. What you liked about the deck? Uh, what you thought was good, what you thought could use changes. Looks like that's all the time we have for this video. If you enjoyed today's content, be sure to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and uh, ring the bell for notifications so you don't miss a single minute of the fun. As always, that's all for now, folks.